Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make this Maltese cross with the uh, American flag inside of it. And we'll leave this outline here on the edge. Alright, let's get started. Alright, first we're going to start off here in VCarve Pro. I'm using version 10. And we'll set up our job here. Be single-sided. We'll start out 24 by 24. And we'll leave it at three quarter thickness. We're going to zero our Z off the top of the surface. And our Z, X, Y, zero will be in the bottom left hand corner. And we'll click OK. We'll get started. OK, to do this, I'm going to import a vector. This is a flag that I previously made here. Just a standard American flag. And then I also have a file here for the Maltese cross. I'm going to use this here. Put this over here. Let's uh, scale this up a little bit here. We'll actually uh, put this right to size where we want. You can go here to set selected object size. Or you can use the shortcut on your keyboard, the letter T will bring you here to scale. So we can scale this, we'll make it, make it 20 inches. And we're linked X and Y, that'll set both sides at the same time here. And I like to make this perfect here, so we'll unlink this. Erase that little bit there. Now it's perfect 20 by 20. Now we'll close that out. Now we don't need these inside shapes here. So we'll select all these vectors here. And we'll delete those. Now we'll select this outer shape here. And we'll offset that inwards here. Let's go uh, go one quarter inch here. Offset. Now close that. Now we got that just created this line here on the inside. Now I like to check these for the nodes here. I'll select both here. Now for some reason, I haven't figured this out yet, but when I offset curve line sometimes it gives you a lot of nodes here which is not good so to fix that I select that the new line we just created go to this tool here curve fit switch this to busier curves click preview and now you can see that cleaned it up a lot leaving only minimal nodes click OK now we can check these both. You do a shortcut on your keyboard, the letter N brings you to node. And you can see it's a lot cleaner. All right, we'll escape from there. Now we want to center this. We'll center on the end of the union here. We'll center that end of the flat, end of the cross here. You can see in our picture here centered there and centered here. So to do that, what I will do here is take a line, just draw a line here at the end. And when you finish a line, but you want to draw another line, you click the space bar on your keyboard, that'll stop that line and give you the ability to draw another line. Now I'm just going to make a line anywhere on this line. Click there, and now I want to get out, so escape. Now we have two lines here. Now I'll take this cross. I'm going to group these two lines together so they don't separate on me. To do that, just click the letter G on your keyboard. That's a shortcut to group. Or you can right-click and click group here. Now select that. And then we'll select 
select that first and then select this line that we made here and then this tool here align objects will go center horizontally that just centered it this cross perfectly at the end of this union now deselect select the cross again first and then select this line we made down here now center vertically now we could delete that line and we could delete this line now if you look at this cross we double click our center point of this cross is perfectly in the corner of this union so now we could deselect that now we want to ungroup this so to do that shortcut the letter u on your keyboard or you can right click ungroup okay now we want to trim these stars and the stripes to this inside line that we created so to do that you just select all the stars that intersect with this line small ones like this where you only have this triangle I don't worry about I'll leave that one alone we'll just delete that this one we'll do this spot here but we'll end up deleting this and right now just select the rest of these stars that intersect And now I could select all of these stripes. Which I just realized we're going to be short a stripe down here. So we're going to have to scale the flag up before we finish this. So to do that, or I can actually, I'll just scale the cross down. So to do that, we could do the letter T on your keyboard, shortcut to scale, and make sure your anchor point is at the center. That'll keep the center point right where it's at. Make sure you're linked X and Y, and we can go down and we'll try 18. Okay, that puts this bottom stripe right at the end there. We'll go just a little bit more. We'll go to 17 and a half. Okay, that's better. Now if we look at this flag here. Okay, this should be okay. All right, now we'll go back to doing our stars here. Now we'll select all these stars that intersect. We won't worry about that one. Or then we won't worry about that one. Or that one. Now select all these stripes. Okay, now where we selected everything we want to keep that is intersecting with this line. So now we select all those first, and then select this line last. And come over here to this tool here, Overlap. Click that. And now that just deleted everything that we selected that was outside of that line, that last line. Now you see this little line here. We'll delete that. We don't need that. Okay, now we just take this remaining stars here and we'll delete all of these. Alright, select all those and click delete. Now that leaves us with what we were after here. So now we could scale that back up. We'll go back up to 20. Close that. And if you want it centered of your job space, just click this center button. Now it's perfectly centered 
in our job space. Okay, now we need to make some toolpaths. So all our vector work is done. Let's do a final check here. Looks okay. Now to go to your toolpaths, you can click this tab up here. Okay, so now to set our toolpaths up, what we wanna do is select everything and then hold the shift key and deselect the outer shape here. Now we want to V-carve all these vectors on the inside here. So to do that, come over here to V-carve toolpath. Start depth we keep at zero. We're gonna to wanna to do a flat depth because we have a lot of space to clear up in here. I usually do uh, 0 0.08 inches. Our V-bit tool we're going to use is 60 degree. You can use whatever degree bit you would like. And then our end mill to clear the bulk of this material, we're going to use a quarter inch. And we're going to use an offset. And we're going to come down here to calculate. Now that just gave us the tool pass that's going to carve all this out. And I'll show you here, if you deselect this one here, will be our quarter inch um, clearance end mill. It'll clear all these areas here. And then after that, we'll change bits and we'll go to the 60 degree V bit. And that'll come up and clean up all these corners here and all the edges. So if we Click here, preview all toolpaths. We'll get to watch this toolpath here. This is the quarter inch bit going right now. And then now we switch here to 60 degree. And there's all of our V carving there. Now we want to cut the outer shape. So to do that, we select the outer shape here, close that, come here to profile to path. We want to cut on the outside of this line all the way through the material. So start depth, we leave at zero. Cut depth, uh, our material is three quarters of an inch, so we'll keep it at 0.75. End mill, we'll use our quarter inch. And for passes, click edit passes here. We can bump this down. We'll go eighth inch at a time. So each pass will be an eighth inch, leaving us at six passes. So click OK. That'll save that either to six passes. Now we want to go make sure we're on the outside of the tool of the uh, vector line here. And then we'll come down here. We can add ramps. To your toolpath. I usually go double uh, the the distance. I go double of what the diameter of the bit is. So quarter inch bit will go half inch distance for a ramp. And we'll leave all those settings. We can add tabs, everything if you want. But for this video, we'll just leave it at this. Click calculate. And now that gave us the toolpath cut this outer shape. So we'll click preview selected toolpath. And now you can see it's cutting outside there. Because there's six passes. And now it's cut all the way through. Now this material outside here, if you double click that, that erases that. And now that leaves you with your furnished project here. Now you can see Check it, make sure everything's good before you actually carve it. And you could also even try different different wood here. Oak, do maple, just to see what it would look like, mahogany. And then you can also change your colors here, just to get a preview of what it would look like. And 
that's about it. I'll uh, I'll save this file and put it in the group. You can download it for free. And thanks for watching.